suicidal ideation. So obviously that's just when people think like, oh, I should kill myself. Um, the question is why? Why would you have that thought? So for me, suicide always involves two. And this is going to be a little provocative, but um, go with me and see if this fits. Uh, in 5% of cases, when you have pancreatic cancer or something, suicidal ideation, I feel, is like um, self-euthanasia. Like, I don't want to go through this terrible pain, so I'll kill myself. And that's just exerting agency, no problem, all good, not suicide, self-euthanasia. The other 95% of the cases, I believe, and don't throw eggs at me, but it's a kind of form of terrorism in that there's somebody who you've been saying something to, and this is what terrorism is, and you believe they're not hearing you and you should turn up the volume. And in your mind, you think, well, if I kill myself, they'll have to understand that they did not treat me in the manner I deserve to be treated. And that's what I think is the statement overall. You're, you're a human being, you want to be loved unconditionally. In some way, there's a person out there who violated you. And I'm taking this from Shakespeare. I'm taking this from Hamlet. So Ophelia is pregnant with Hamlet's child. She can't tell anybody and uh, she kills herself. And this is the message to Hamlet, you did not treat me in the manner that I deserve to be treated. You know, you impregnated me and just left me hanging and I have nothing. So I'm telling the world this. Um, what I do when people come in to the office and have suicidal ideation is sometimes I'll say, okay, relax, close your eyes. Imagine your funeral. Who's there? Who's talking? Who's standing in the back? And we kind of suss out like what you're trying to say when you imagine, oh, I should kill myself. Because there's this subconscious thing going on. And again, this, this video might be very offensive to you, right? But if you sit with it and think about uh, some transgression, uh, some violation, something that happened in your past and something that you've been complaining about because as we discussed before, your mind is built to create grievance story, stories, woulda, coulda, shoulda, didn't, right? So suicidal ideation is your imagination that this person or these people will finally hear that they should have treated you with unconditional love and not transgressed you.